Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, I'm going to show you yet another screen recorder for Windows 11. In this video, we're going to talk about HitPaw Screen Recorder. This is a software that also comes in a free version and also in a pro version. But in this video, I'm going to show you what you can do using the software and of course, if it is useful or not in Windows 11. As Microsoft still hasn't got a reliable screen recording tool by default on Windows 11, we're trying different alternatives. And of course, you'll be able to decide which software you want to use. I've showed you a screen recorder for Windows 11 a few months ago and now I'm showing you a different one which is HitPaw Screen Recorder. Of course you're going to have a download link in the description down below and you're going to be able to download the software for free if you want to try it on Windows 11. This is the first thing that you see when you open up the software so you will have two options. You have the option to record or the option to live. Basically you're going to be able to live stream and also you're going to be able to use a virtual camera. Of course in this video we're going to focus on the recording tool and down below as you can see we also have some templates regarding education game and stuff like that and in the left side on history you're gonna have the history of files or videos that you've recorded before so let's go in the home tab and here on the record section we have screen game lecture or device let's go to screen by clicking on it and you're gonna see that we can create a custom section that we can record on our screen or if we want we can press the spacebar to record full screen, which is kind of interesting. I'm actually going to select a portion of the screen. And as you can see now, the menu of HitPaw Screen Recorder appears. It actually has a really nice design. And we have here the record button. Of course, we have the screenshot taker. We have picture in picture. We have draw. We can even draw in real time on the screen. We have capture mouse, capture keystrokes. We have disable speaker or disable microphone. We also have the task scheduler. Basically, we can schedule certain recordings and stuff like that. And we have settings, which will help us customize the video recording even further. So for example, if I'm trying to record a window of a game or something like that, I want to select the 60 frames per second because this is required nowadays. If you're uploading videos to YouTube with gameplay, you're going to need that 60 frames per second. We're going to use the original resolution and of course the output format mp4 and if you select this option this will always open the video editor automatically after recording so if you're interested in that and if you are not using any other third-party video editor you can use the video editor integrated in the HitPaw screen recording device. Of course, in the effect tab, we have the classic effects to the mouse. We can add a yellow highlight color to the mouse and also show keystrokes if you want. And regarding task, we have a few scheduling options. We can schedule the recording. As I've said, we can automatically stop it and we can also segment recording. On device, make sure to select your microphone. So for example, select your default microphone and also your default speaker. And on the hotkeys, of course, you have the shortcuts for your keyboard when using this software. Now let's start the recording for a bit and let's do something on the screen. We also have a preview up here if you see. Let's do something. For example, let's open the settings in Windows 11 and let's uh, just scroll around and see basically what is the quality of the recorded video. So now let's stop and we have a preview here and we can open it in the folder and we're going to have it here. Let's open it. It also recording my microphone, but I'm going to mute the microphone and as you can see it changed up our mouse pointer but it is pretty nice we have a good quality of course 60 frames per second and i think overall the recording is pretty nice of course we didn't record even at the hd resolution but you can do that with these and now on the main screen if we go to history we're going to have our recorded file when you click to record a game you're going to have the option to select a game window so just select the window and the recording process is pretty much the same on the lecture you're going to have certain sources and certain templates that you can use, which is really interesting. And you can also record certain devices, webcam, iPhone, and iPad. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can also use the picture in picture to record your screen with your integrated webcam or a third party webcam. Just go on screen, select your region that you want to record. And you have here picture in picture, and you just need to select the device. In my case, I have an integrated webcam and I'm going to have my webcam appear where I set it. Of course, you have a few options. You have screen you have screen plus webcam you have webcam plus screen basically the webcam will be full and then you have only the webcam you have the position that you can select so for example if I'm using this I can set the position to up top I can remove the background if I want to my webcam very easily and also I can do a mirror option it is pretty nice basically this tool has all that you need in order to record gameplay 
for example has an integrated filter that you can use with your green screen and stuff like that it is pretty nice now i'm gonna go to settings and then i'm gonna go to general and select always open video editor automatically after recording and then exit out let's just record something to be able to see on the screen and see how the video editor looks in hit pause screen recorder so i've recorded it i'm just gonna stop and now the screen recorder should automatically open up and that's correct as you can see we have a small little screen recorder that you can use to cut crop resize speed adjust rotate i think this is really good and if you want more features you are going to be able to install their other software which is hit pop or video editor you have the timeline down here and you can easily do some simple edits to your video if you're interested in that i'm actually quite impressed by hit pop screen recorder because in my opinion when i'm looking for a screen recorder i'm also looking for quality but also for a minimalistic design and easy to use intuitive and i think that hit pop screen recorder has all those things as i've said you're gonna have a download link in the description down below and you can try the software for free and if you want don't forget to leave a feedback for this software if you've tried it or if you have an opinion based on what you've watched in this video so this was the video for today i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one that was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day